Good morning, DJ Talk family. How y'all doing today? First of all, welcome to the 90th episode of DJ Talk. Now, before we get started, I would like to take this time to send a special shout out to everyone that is doing good. Welcome to the new week. Hopefully, y'all have a great week. But most importantly, hope y'all win this week. And have success this week. Whatever it is you want to have success in. So like I said before and I'll say it again. Hopefully all win. So. If you are new to this channel. Let me welcome you to the nation family. Hopefully you'll enjoy it here. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. But most importantly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. Many more to come, many more contents to come, many more episodes to come. And many more surprises to come, like I said before. So with that being said, let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about A brand new topic. A topic that has a lot of meaning in our lives, especially as sons and daughters to a wonderful parent that has been in our lives. Well, someone that has love for us and also always prays wherever we go, whether it's far away or working or wherever we are going. Hopefully this topic will touch your hearts and probably Get you tearing up or so, but in the loving way. Today, we're going to be talking about a mother's love and prayer. So to everyone that have a question about it, why did you choose this topic? Well... I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I wanted to actually do this episode on Mother's Day. I really wanted to do that on Mother's Day. But I learned that every day is Mother's Day. Having a mother in our lives means a lot to us. And they are the backbone of our lives and our success whatever we do they are our number one fans and we as children are very fortunate to have our mothers in our lives and and for the other and for the others that have lost a mother lost a mother i am so sorry for your loss and my condolences go out to you and your family i really am Sorry, hopefully you all have strength, peace, and and hopefully you'll find healing as well. So as kids, we should be grateful to have our mothers in our lives and cherish it forever. There are multiple quotes that speaks about mother's love and mother's prayer. And we're going to be starting off with mother's love. And it goes something like this. Number one, Sanobar Khan says, My mother is pure radiance. She is the sun I can touch and kiss and hold without getting burned. Number two, Shannon Selby says, She also understood there was a hole in her heart and where her son should be. That she was a wicked, selfish woman wishing for wishing him back. Number three, Amit Calatrini from Wealthy of Words says, A mother is your first friend, your best friend, 
your forever friend. Number four, Helen Rice says, A mother's love is patient and forgiving. When all others are forsaken, it never fails or falters, even though the heart is breaking. Number five, Gaspar Mermilrod says, A mother is she who take, can take the place of all others, but whose place no one else can take. Number six, Michael Jordan says, My mother is root, my root, my foundation. She planted the seed that I based my life on. And, it, and that is belief that the ability to achieve starts in your mind. Number seven, Jill Churchill says, There's no way to be a perfect mother and a million ways to be a good one. Number eight, Mabel Hale says, Mothers possess a power beyond that of a king on his throne. Number nine, Mitch Albaum from For One More Day says, But behind all your stories is always your mother's story, because hers is where yours begins. Number 10, Eric Fromm says, Mother's love is peace. It need not be acquired. It need not be deserved. Number 11, Lance Conrad from The Price of Creation says, I can imagine no heroism greater than motherhood. Number 12, Princess Diana says, A mother's arm are more comforting than anyone else's. Number 13, Tineva Jordan says, A mother is a person who seeing there are only four pieces of pie for five people prominently Announces she never did the care for pie. Number 14, Salim Sharma says, There is nothing as sincere as a mother's kiss. 15, Romy says, We are born of love. Love is our mother. And now we're on speaking about Mother's Prayer. Number one, Violent James says, A praying mother is more precious and valuable than all the riches in the world. Number two, Abraham Lincoln says, I remember my mother's prayer and they always have followed me. They have clung to me all my life. Number three, Richelle E. Goodrich says, Mother's care in volumes of tears and earnestness of prayers and a depth of emotion cannot, others cannot fathom. Number four, Holly Kennedy says, there are the spots a mother is immediately drawn to wherever her child is sick. After she presses her face against his to feel a for a fever, silently praying, it's just a cold. Number five, Betty J. Edley says, I was also told that there is no greater prayer than of a mother for her children. Number six, Helen Steiner Rice says, a mother's prayer is the greatest power of, on earth, for it carries with it the heartbeat of the Almighty. 
Number seven, Max Locato says, "A mother's prayer can go where where we cannot. They are able to reach the places we cannot. A mother's prayer have the power." Number beg your pardon. Number eight, Beth Moore says, "A mother's prayer have." The powers to shape the course of history through the lives of her children. Number nine, Ruth Bell Graham says, A praying mother is a treasure beyond measure. Her love and faith shape generations to come. Number ten, Stormy Omartian says, a praying mother is a powerful force in the lives of her children. Number 11, Billy Graham says, A mother's prayer for her children are powerful. They have the ability to shape their character and destiny. Number 12, Jennifer Smith says, A praying mother is a channel through which God's grace flows into the lives of her children. Number 13, Jody P. Colt says, A mother's prayer is the purest form for love and protection, reaching the heavens and covering her children with divine grace. 14, Charles Stanley says, A praying mother is a mother who never gives up on her children, regardless of the circumstances. And last but not least, Number 15, Elizabeth George says, A praying mother understands that her role is not just to raise children, but to nurture their souls and point them, in, and point them to God. So you see, the greatest gift that a mother can receive in life is having us as kids. And we as kids are so, but so fortunate to be here, alive and alive as, as well. So, a mother's prayer is and love, love and prayer is the most important part of our lives. The reason why I say it because. We should be thankful and grateful for it because not all can say that. Well, especially when it comes to that. Because having mothers in our lives is a great moment for us and a great feeling for us. So before I wrap up this episode, I just want to say a couple of things. If you have your first love, which is your mother... Always remember that no matter what happens, she will always be there. Always be there. And I'll say to the people in the back that didn't hear the first time, no matter what happens, your mother will always be there for you no matter what. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And stay tuned for more episodes of DJ Talk. Peace out. Actually, stay positive. Never give up. Hope you all have a great day. Peace out.